Wow, what a nice focal point. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Savannah and you can call me Sav. I am back in Puerto Rico, for those that know. I just came back from a two week trip where I just had a vlog on it. Went to California, then went to Arizona to see my dad, and then Washington to see my mom and family. And now I am back on the island. And let me tell you, yesterday was a red eye and I was exhausted. So I feel like I clump my travel together and then I'll be like hunkered down here for quite a while. It's Sunday and I figured what better, what a more fitting way to kind of get back on track together and I guess kind of just go through the motion of like my life has been chaotic since January 3rd. So basically the new year, my life has been so chaotic that I haven't had time to sit down and actually like plan out what I really want for the year and just kind of like get my life situated. And that is the first step that I have, my desk. I finally have a desk in Puerto Rico. We recently moved and I had to get rid of my desk. I have my own office in Miami, which was amazing. Now I'm next to a really old hutch. We're gonna move her, okay? Maybe that's one of the goals today. I'll have to show you the, let me show you the setup for this, okay? So I have this mirror that somehow is a wall because Michael is working right there. And you know, we make do, we make do. And then this is my new desk that I bought on Amazon for like 50 bucks and it's low key broken, but that's okay. And then Michael got me these really, really nice chairs um, for Christmas, which nerdy, I know. What does it say the name? Oh my gosh, yeah, okay. Dude, they are the nicest chairs ever. So comfy. And then I'm gonna have to figure out how to move this. So that'll be interesting. This came with the house. So anyways, I just thought let's get situated this Sunday and just kind of go over some tips when you kind of feel like you need to restart and like how the heck to get back on track. So with that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's get started. Um, first things first is all my eyelashes fell off on the trip and I know why. I have this video Actually, I fell into the water right when I, I get eyelash extensions and you have to let them sit for like 24 to 48 hours and I fell into the water within 12 hours. Have a video, cue the clip. We got Courtney in our... No! It is so comical. Let's, let's rewind that. Let's slow-mo it. We got Courtney in our... We are getting back on track today, especially when we feel a little rough and groggy. So this morning we had some coffee. Michael and I actually went to the golf range. I lasted a total of five minutes. I don't know, just not my thing, but I'm, I'm happy to start practicing. And I honestly have sat down here for two to three hours. I'm just working on my fitness program, shameless plug, but I just really want to reamp it for 2022. I've had it for two years now and I just owe it to the gals, owe it to myself. Um, and I'm also thinking about dabbling with a different program. So kind of balancing both of them and I'm planning out my YouTube videos, all that good stuff. I didn't really know I was going to start planning it, but does anyone else sit down on a Sunday and you just like somehow the hours fly by and you're just doing like random miscellaneous work? Because that has been me. We're going to spend the day together. We're going to grocery shop. It's going to be a good day. So, well, actually it's 1.42 PM. So the day is already amongst us. We're in the gym. I went to the locker room to chat because it's so loud out there. Um, we also are wearing masks again uh, due to the COVID cases. That I would kind of warm up. I did a leg day last time in Arizona. No, it was full body. I recorded it. Wow, this lighting does not do any justice. Um, but I think I'm just going to start off. 
I was gonna start off with the Peloton, but there's a couple gals. Um, I think I'm just gonna start running. I just kind of want to build my endurance, my stamina. That's like a big goal for me in 2022 is to improve my running. I mean, I've been thinking of like starting a new running club just because of it, because I want to be motivated and want you guys to be motivated. Um, so let me know if you're interested, if you would join like a group, like we would even contact through Facebook, whatever it may be, but just to kind of motivate each other and like show our run times. So I'm gonna start off running. Um, then if the Peloton opens up, I might do some Peloton sprints. And then honestly, I've been loving their arms and shoulder circuits. So I might do that. I just, I don't like to lift very heavy the first day I'm back. Otherwise it'll kill me for the rest of the week. So let's get started. Let's run a couple miles. Lego. These masks don't fit my tiny face. And I just think it's comical how small they look. But they did say um, that if no one is near you, you don't have to wear the mask. So as long as they're six feet apart from you, which I think the treadmills are, so that'll be really helpful. All right, nobody is here. Glorious. So I'm gonna start running over there. I'll get some B-roll, but let's try and run a couple miles. do arms and sprints on the peloton. back from the gym and we are heading to the beach to watch the sunset before a grocery shop and this is very obnoxiously loud and it stopped. A little Sunday night reset. in the car heading to the grocery store we watched the sunset and I actually planned out all of my meals for this week that is a huge thing I do on Sundays does anyone else do this yeah let me find my phone and show you I will write out what I need otherwise I'll forget it completely there you go so I'm making pozole from my dad got all the ingredients I'm making enchiladas normal things like dog food LaCroix all that so I try to plan at least three to four meals when I go to a grocery store here. Before in Huntington, I'd literally plan two just because I like really fresh ingredients. But here I'm just like, I'm already out and about. I might as well just kind of stock up for the week. Um, so if you are like me and Sundays is your reset where you're like, okay, I need to get prepped for the week. Trust me, like sit down. I literally went on Pinterest. I found um, a thing for Greek onion that has orzo. Um, then I said my, my protein's gonna be salmon with it eggs for omelets, um, you know, random things like that. I'm really excited for the pasule. I will, and I could be butch butchering the name of that, but my dad makes this really yummy soup and I just want to try and recreate it for Michael and I. Um, so definitely get all your shopping done on a Sunday. I know maybe some people hate that because there's lines, but it keeps me sane throughout the week. I hate just being like hungry and not having like good options for myself, if that makes sense. like green chilies and I'm in this aisle just I don't know how I'm gonna find this so comment if you know where green chilies are because I may give up and it's just not gonna be in 
the ingredients. Okay, I'm gonna spend like a solid 20 minutes me trying to find green chilies. They're jalapenos. I know where the jalapenos are. All right, returning the cart. Pet peeve is when people don't return carts. I just find it very, very rude. You know when they like leave it next to their car? Return it in the cart area, all right? These simple things. Checked out, five full bags, and we're gonna head to one more restaurant, one more market, um, to snag our dinner tonight. Just going all over the place, okay? It's almost like eight. Took me so long in there to find these ingredients, but you know what? You get better every time. Cause you didn't mean what you don't understand about me. Horrible park job. I am well aware of that. But La Hacienda, she's a meat market and I love her. So I snagged some homegrown mushrooms, Penny Mac. They were out of the salmon, so I got a sweet chicken. Orzo for Michael, he loves it. Everything's like homemade. And then a spicy crab dip. That's a very cute little kind of organic market almost. Okay, fam. I literally went there in the nick of time. It is eight o'clock and I came in at like 7.58. And I was like, oh, no one was there. Half the things were sold out because it's like a, it's a local market. It's very small um, and fresh. That's why I like it so much. <laughs> They were so funny. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. What time do you guys close? They're like, eight every day. And I was like, my B. So let's go home. Let's do a little reveal. I'm looking up how long to bake chicken breast. Is Michael preheated in the oven for our salmon? I'm so sad. Oh yeah, 400, we're good. Okay, so got everything out of the car by myself because Michael had a meeting and it was very hectic. But I divided it up. I'm gonna show you the three meals that I have. I already popped the chicken in. Michael preheated the oven. Um, and then I have a lot of snacks and like miscellaneous things. But if you are looking for some fun meals, I wouldn't say easy with the pozole, but fun meals. I mean, the Greek salad is pretty easy. Have no fear, look here. Okay, Greek salad is simple. You got cucumber, we got red onion, tomato. You basically chop them all up, put some black pitted olives on it. I got Greek vinaigrette and then pop some orzo in it as well. And then we have the feta cheese. And that is an easy meal. Um, you can even add protein, you can add shrimp, you can really add whatever you want into this. Next, we have enchiladas, my favorite thing to make. We got sour cream, um, just for topping. We got two cheeses, just cause we eat cheese a lot. Um, 10 tortillas, that's usually what it makes. Um, a total of a red, or whoa, white onion. Um, and then I'm gonna try out this taco salsa. You basically pour it all over the enchiladas. I have it on my YouTube channel everywhere. And then black beans, but the chicken, She's a little sticky. So we have both the chicken here and for the pozole. I couldn't find pork butt for the pozole, so let me know where you find that. Um, I got two white onions for the pozole. Flour, I think it only calls for a little bit. I thought this was green chilies. My dad said no, so that's awkward. Chicken broth. We also have uh, garlic to use, and then I just got a bunch because I know I'll use garlic. And then we use four potatoes, but I love potatoes, so I also grabbed a big bag, and I'm gonna make like, you know, baked potatoes on my own. We got Natural Bliss Creamer. I just grabbed like a Chobani yogurt just because I love them. Eggs for the omelets and breakfast, and I just eat eggs whenever. And then I got lettuce. I just feel like last minute salads are super easy to make. Cream cheese, because Michael bought bagels. Um, bananas, because she's my love. We needed mustard. I got this really fun gorgonzola pear salad dressing that looked great. Hummus chips or pita chips, pepperoncinis, because I eat them like no other. I'll just eat them straight out of the can. Macaroni and cheese, it's our guilty pleasure. Dental sticks for Bentley. Last time I got this, he ate the entire box on accident. Nine whole treats. I will hide it from him this time. This was a spicy crab dip from the other one. I'm gonna open that puppy up. Um, I also got goat cheese crumbles because, dude, I love goat cheese. It's so easy to put in anything. And everything hummus. I got this green salsa verde that's great on chicken. Just pour this, bake the chicken in it, and then also at the end, pour a bit of mozzarella cheese. So amazing. And then I will top ramen. And then I also got a red pepper um, for the omelets. I got these soft taco shells. They're only 45 calories. Here, let me take them out. So they're like a lower lean carb tortilla. I honestly don't count my carbs, but I just figured I'd try them out because I eat tortillas like 10 times a day.
All right, fam, it is the next morning and it's Monday morning and I'm filming a, another YouTube video that you're gonna love. But I hope you liked the Sunday reset video. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you want me to film more of these. It's kind of fun just doing more of like a hangout sesh, but also kind of chatting. So that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you next time. Code word. Ooh, let's do another fun Instagram comment because dude, that was so fun. Oh geez, remember comment on my latest post real photo whatever it is a pink heart emoji if you watch this video